Okay. When writing in correspondence uh, with the service in which you serve or with the Veterans Administration or with other organizations, your full name, date and place of birth, grade, rate, rate or rank, and, ser and serial service or file numbers should be given as well as any other information that will be helpful, such as the number of your insurance policy, the correspondence concerning insurance. This will result in a faster action for all that is concerned. And that was page 60. Okay, now we're at what a disabled veteran should know. I right, give me a second. Oh. What a disabled veteran should know. And it's a blue page. Okay. And then inside, there's an illustration of a man with some paperwork on his knee in a hospital bed. He's in a hospital bed with the, the striped suit on. The nurse, the lady nurse... Is given it has her hands up one hand has a glass and I guess the other one would have a pill a pill because she's giving him medicine and she's got the the 1950s hat with the little doohickey on it and then you got another man reading a newspaper looking at the guy okay and on page 53 there's a little bitty uh picture Pretty much the same thing. A nurse giving a patient uh, some medicine. And then it says general. If you are discharged or, discharged or separated from active do service with a disability due to service, you may be entitled to disability benefits including a pension. And it's got parentheses U C U Okay. C per, give me let me rewind. Make it my mouth straight. Parentheses. C if you become disabled. Page fifty three. If your if your dis disability is not due to service. Um then in closed parentheses. Um, as far as I know, my dad had one in his hand, and but he's Vietnam, so different. Okay, the Veterans Administration benefits and pensions for veterans are the are the responsibility of the Veterans Administration. It is the this government's agency that will settle your pension claim, decide the amount of pension, and handle details for many of the benefits for which you and your dependents may be entitled. You should write directly to the Veterans Administration and not to the service in which you serve about these matters. These, these matters. Offices of the Veterans Administrations are maintained in most large cities. Yeah, I've got Memphis, and I think my cousin had to go Birmingham. Oh, he didn't want to come up here to Memphis. Okay, others of the veterans. Offices of the Veterans Administrations are maintained, okay, in most large cities. Ask your post office for the nearest location for you. Yeah, his, his nearest one was, oh, uh, could have been Tupelo, but he had to cross the, into Alabama. We'd rather do it in Alabama or in Tennessee, uh, other than Memphis. 
Okay, filing your claim. When you are being uh, are being separated from active service, you will be advised of your rights to file claim for pension and, if you wish, help in making applications for the this benefits before you leave the service. The proper form of making application for disability pension is VA 526. You can make a claim on this form at any time after discharge or release from active duty. Copies can uh, copies of it can be obtained in any military or naval installu- installations office of veterans uh, of the veteran administration or red cross chapter you can make whatever you can get whatever help you need in filling out the form in any of these places even though you sign a statement at the time of your separation from the service saying that you do not desire to file application for pension, this will not prevent you from filing a claim at any later date. And then that was page 64. And then we go over to 65, of course. And there's a little picture of an uh, older man talking to a younger man with with a hat that kind of looks like Lois and Clark Superman hat. Uh, I mean, Lois and Clark Superman were made about the same time when this uh, uh, was around. And so every time I see that hat, I can think of Clark Kent. Okay, the old version. Uh, handling your claim. If you... If you need advice or aid in connecting with the handling of your claim for pension or other disability benefits, you may obtain such assistance without charge from the nearest office of the Veterans Administration, your local Red Cross chapter, or any of the organizations recognized by the Veterans Administration. If you wish, you can get the help and advice of legal counsel. Ordinarily, such assistance will not be necessary. However, if you are employed, do employ a lawyer. Remember that fees fees for legal services in connection with pension claims are limited by law. Your C number. The first uh, the first claim filed by the veteran by a veteran is consider is assigned a claim number. This is commonly referred to as a C number. It never changes. All later claims will come under the C number regardless of when the disability arises. The Veterans Administration thus keeps a continuous record in one file. Further claims should never be submitted as if they are the original the original application. Always identify any claim by using the first C number assigned to you. To save time and trouble in handling your papers, keep a record of your C number just for you, just as you do your serial service or file number. Power of Attorney If you want to, you can appoint an authorized representative of one of the organizations recognized by the Veterans Administration 
to prepare, present, and appeal your pension claim. Upon your request at the separation center or hospital, you will be given a list of recognized organizations and will be assisted in preparing the necessary power of attorney. Veterans Administration makes final decision, not the service. Your medical board makes a report on your disability, but the final decision as to whether or not to get the pension rests on the Veterans Administration. If you disagree with the medical board and believe that you are entitled to disability benefits, you have the privilege of filing a claim directly with the Veterans Administration. Make application Make application when you believe that your claim is fair and proper. Pension based on degree of disability. Pensions are based upon the percentage of disability and run from 10% to 100% of in multiples of 10. For instance, a veter- veteran with 10% disability um, receives $11.50 monthly, which is 10% of the total disability awarded of $115. In addition, there are special rates and allowance for specific injuries injur- for specific injuries and more severe serious disabil- uh, disabling condition. No additional disability pension is payable for dependents. Pension sa- uh, pensions are safeguarded. Pensions payments ugh, tongue-tied to you or to your benefactories are not assignable and are except and are exempt from taxation uh, parentheses including income tax co- uh, close attachment levy or seizures either before or after you get them these provisions do not apply to property purchased with these payments. Okay, we're on page 68. Ooh. And I'm start. it's almost, uh, it's break time. Give me a second. Oh, I'm going to pop. Might be hearing the popping. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and read a little bit of this. I right, free training. If you have a service correct connected disability, you may be trained to return to your old job in spite of your d- disability. If your disability uh, prevents you from working at your last job, you can be taught a new occupation in which your disability will not hinder you. I wish it was true in real life. Oh, cause oh, I really wish it was true in real life. Okay, uh, I'm coming up on a break, so I'm going to stop right here. On this training, free training, and I might start back up in a little bit. You are listening to Lore's blog. My name is Loretta Nash, and I will see you in a minute or in a little bit.